welcome everybody my name is Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com thanks for joining me I thought I'd do this little video because I've had a lot of visions lately uh, and I was actually having them uh, it started last week and I've actually tried five times last week uh, to upload a video and I tried on different days it just didn't work out so I'm going to put all of last week's visions into a separate pile in my head at the moment uh, but I've had a, a few visions since. Uh, firstly, uh, what I saw three nights ago was um, Vladimir Putin and uh, President Zelensky having a meeting. And they actually came up with some sort of uh, agreement. This is so bizarre to me because I don't know what they could possibly agree upon. Uh, Putin wasn't very happy, uh, but knew that he had to, had to go ahead with this agreement. Uh, Zelensky was very happy he was smiling uh, and I I think they actually shook hands on this but it would be all sort of uh, noted and documented of course uh, and then uh, two nights ago I had another uh, vision as I was going to sleep and I called on Michael the Archangel and that was because um, a while ago I did a video but I don't really have, no, I don't really have the info anymore. Oh, yes, I do. Here it is. Okay, I did a video, and you may remember this um, uh, diagram of the map of uh, the Ukraine and the spirit that is protecting the Ukraine at the moment. You'll, know this, you'll notice this spirit is long and thin, uh, so there's large areas that are unprotected. Uh, and um, but the color was what struck me so it was this bright blue so I was thinking about that and uh, I, that's the color I associate with Michael the Archangel but when I when I had this vision I didn't realize uh, that this is connected with Michael the Archangel but last night uh, two nights ago I called on Michael the Archangel and I have a sort of special relationship. My birthday is actually on his feast day, which I only found out about um, 10 years ago. And uh, anyway, so he appeared straight away. Normally it takes me maybe five or 10 minutes to get into the zone to actually see him and I don't see him very often. Uh, and uh, he was there in a flash. And he was in full battle regalia, which I was very surprised because I was actually calling on him asking for healing, uh, not just for myself, but for the planet. And uh, there he appears ready for war. Uh, so he's in warfare mode. The last um, time he actually spoke to me uh, was a, a long time ago. And he said he was an angel of healing. And, and so... I've always taken him at that, despite all of the um, the things, the biblical refer references of him, um, you know, fighting and uh, doing away with um, demons and things like that. And so, you know, I've always related to to him as a healer uh, in the last ten years, at least. And uh, so, I was very, very surprised to see him. I've never seen him like this with so much. Uh, uh, battle regalia, uh, it, full body armor. Uh, the, it, of course, he always has the sword, but uh, it was like this is really for doing away with people uh, or uh, entities. So they're my two flashes. So I just wanted to to ask you to keep up your prayers for the Ukraine because I believe they really are working, and uh, not to give up. Uh, it's like there's some sort of light at the end of the tunnel and I don't know if it's like NATO changes their minds, somebody changes their minds, uh, but uh, it's, it, the, the war will not go on forever. It will go on for, you know, quite a time. I feel like it's months. Uh, it's not going to be over. The 15 days that was allotted to take Ukraine has passed now and uh, I feel like it will be a long time, but it won't be years and years and years and uh, there's some hope there for the Ukraine and so if we can all focus on that hope and the light at the end of the the tunnel uh, and do whatever you can uh, to bring peace into this world that would be 
fabulous. So if you have any ideas about what these two men could possibly agree on, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm just like quite shocked to see that vision that there is an agreement. Now, whether that's just in spirit or that transpires here on earth that they actually do come to some sort of treaty, uh, you know, and they sign on, a, on the dotted line, I couldn't tell you that, but um, that's what I've seen. Okay, the uh, April horoscopes are on their way as well. It's a very big month. Uh, part of what I couldn't tell you last week that I tried and tried to tell you uh, relates to the fact that I was trying to go to London in August uh, to book and I can't bring myself to book. And I think um, a few other things have happened around that where I've had a lot of grief on my chest when I've been doing live streams. You may have noticed when I've talked about the UK, this big thing happens here. Uh, and uh, I, I think that we can expect some very sad news middle of the year, it's somewhere between April and August, I'm suspecting. Uh, but I don't have an actual timeline. But, you know, if you put two and two together, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I didn't want to spell it right out um, because, you know, it's very hard for people who have families, you know, to hear stuff like that. So uh, if, you've, if you are planning to go to the UK, uh, know that if you're going around the crisis period, that um, some things may be closed uh, and things that were supposed to go ahead will not go ahead. All right, so uh, I'll be back uh, shortly and uh, starting the April horoscopes. Okay, thanks again and I'll see you soon. If you're new, please consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, hit that notification bell right now. Okay, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website absolutesoulsecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.